So one day, there I am, scrolling on Amazon Prime when I see the word Fallout. My first immediate thought was, wow, they're about to ruin them. Oh, wait a minute. We got a high rating, so I guess I'll go ahead and watch it. shitballs. This was the greatest video game adaptation I had ever seen. The characters were likable and had depth, emotion, and motives. There were equally funny as well as badass moments throughout the entire show. You wanna make my cock explode now? And without rambling too much past that, the last episode ties it all together into a perfect bow. But one thing remained constant throughout the entire show. The frothing need to play Fallout again. As I loaded up Fallout 4, there came a new update that was released next to the new TV show. Once I continued my previous save, I remember the exact moment I stopped playing. Oh, bro. The moment I had to participate in the building slash crafting system. I immediately quit the game. Nothing against the game, but I hate the building system in Fallout. I wanted a game with zero building, but also still in the Fallout universe. A buddy of mine said, you may want to try an older game called Fallout New Vegas. So I started making this video after my first playthrough of New Vegas. I went the wild card route, which seemed like the best option. Fuck now, Benny! You're fucked now, Benny! And which was basically kill everybody and take over New Vegas for myself. Then let some courier walk the wasteland. Fuck, talk to me like. All my GTA 5 death wish enjoyers would also agree this is the best option. Once I finished the game, I found I had much more fun and enjoyment than in Fallout 4. Mostly because I prefer the massive amounts of dialogue over the lame building mechanics that were in Fallout 4. But I can truly say that this game is an absolute masterpiece. By the powers invested in me. There are absolutely no rules in the wasteland except do not go north from Good Springs and harness the power of the atomic bomb whenever you can. If you don't like the Questron, just blow them up. Don't like the character? Just blow them up. You like a character a lot? I hear the Legion's fixing to attack. But there are unlimited options for you to explore in this game. Most of the fun comes from gambling with maximum luck, Yippee! which is basically the ultimate act of cheating, but the casino will finally ban you. No more games for you. Go rob the tops. Or you can enjoy helping the smaller folk around New Vegas prosper and thrive. Basically your ultimate playground. Oh my god. But that's why there's so much potential for the next season of the show, which is definitely taking place in New Vegas. Woo! As I finished my playthrough, I still had the entire map undiscovered. So this is me finishing off my Fallout New Vegas addiction, making sure I get every last bit of information before the next season of the Fallout show. So next up we have, oh god. Please have mercy. So after speaking with Chomps Lewis, we get some instructions. We gotta kill the mother and the alpha death. Wait, what? So after some quick research on hand-to-hand -hand combat, and testing the power of the alpha male deathclaw. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh -oh. Oh my I learned about the power of the Gauss rifle from extremely far away. That is until we found the mother deathclaw, who beat up my dog and then spread me like some butter. But eventually we figured it out and stole all of her unborn children. One extreme withdrawal later, we ended up turning them into a delicious omelet that also happens to be extremely broken just like this game on pc after a little wasteland shenanigans it's coming right at me i find this weird place called dead wind cavern little did i know that this was satan's castle this one looks pretty tough after getting my butter spread again and again and again I finally decided that I will return to this later. I decided to continue my Easter egg hunt for Red Lucy. Bring me a dozen fire gecko eggs. Making sure to bring justice wherever I went. Got nothing to say. We steal the fire gecko eggs. We go and get our reward as well as our next quest, the Night Stalker eggs. One quick gambling break later. Oh my god. We find Jimmy's well, as well as Jimmy himself. So on the way to the quest, we find the Brotherhood safe house, one in which I have a key for from previously helping them. Only to then see a man face out of existence, we also find out this Brotherhood soldier just happens to have a weapon. What's that? After a test of strength of his skull, twice, we finally make it to the Night Stalker cave. 
Turns out these little guys are pretty cute. So cute. Evaporate. Anyway, we steal the eggs and on the way out I find a gate. And with my ultra survival instincts, I miss this blatant wire. And get sent to the moon. Oh my god. Another cat crushing adventure later, this time increasing my brain wrinkles enough to disarm the trap first, and then getting paid handsomely for our diligence. 7,000. We return again to receive our payment, where we are then assigned another quest to gather Cazador eggs in Red Rock, the place that houses the dumb haircut tribe. Checking in with our drug dealer before continuing, remember this later, I then spend the next 20 minutes learning the art of walking up a hill, until I realize there's a completely different path to get up the hill, to then of course, come across another hill that makes me forget everything I just learned. The exterminator in me allows my unlimited hollow point rounds to crush bugs, and near the eggs at the end we find our very own fat man that is completely useless to me. We continue on our journey and steal the buggy eggs, yeah. returning yet again to give Lady Red the eggs and get our final quest. Are you fucking kidding me? Our suffering yes. earlier actually helps with this method as all the death claws are already dead, earning us a new LMG as well as the eggs of gold. Returning to the sounds of trumpets and cheers, we are now known as the greatest hunter. The greatest poon hunter, that is. My mind's been thinking. We get invited into our chambers and we also collect a perk that encourages boxing death claws. After getting some quality rest time, then meet the happiest crucifixion victim ever. Hello. Hello. And then get rolling through the wasteland again. Have you had enough? Have you had enough? <laughs> We arrive at the next location, Aerotech Office Park, where we immediately steal all of their vital medical supplies. The captain of the town assigned me two quests, find the missing townspeople, and snitch on Keith. A couple skill checks later, and we immediately tell on Keith. Drugs and crooked gambling. Helping to bring some law-abiding justice in the lawless wasteland. That's right. She left your worthless stinking ass. You son of a bitch! Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Hello. We then start on the missing persons case. I don't know a thing about no missing refugees from that Aerotech camp. Go cry to somebody else. Yeah, well, I must have heard rumors. And, uh, fuck you. Collect the obvious evidence, yeah, and then we book. confront the cons. This bastard got your book. He got your book. Problem solved. Fast forward to the NCR Camp McCarran, we are looking for a mole that's sabotaging the camp. Also described by the prisoner of war. Learning that he's transmitting from the control tower at 1am, we soon enough spot the culprit going into the tower. And with maximum stealth, we eavesdrop. Disarming the bomb that the rat set to blow up our friends. One important thing was to get the coolest armor in the game, which allowed me to be truly unstoppable. Colonel Goober reporting for duty. While I smoke sleeping powder gangers. It also unlocked a new special version of Vats. Sorry, pal. You like the sight of your own blood? Um, please stop, sir. Overall, I actually loved this game, and I really want to continue until I have 100% the game with all the little side quests. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It took me quite a while, and uh, part two coming soon.